Hi, I'm Joel Michael. My wife and I checked out the 2009 Dawn Patrol Rendezvous at the National Museum of the United States Air Force this past Saturday. It's a gathering of World War I aircraft, vehicles, pilots, history buffs, and more, held every other year just a little east of my neighborhood, the Huffman Historic Area. There's no cost to get in, and unless you want to spring for some fantastic aviation art, the only thing you'll pay for is lunch. It had rained over the night, making the ground a little sloppy, and the skies too cloudy to bring out the big birds in the morning. But while we waited for clearer skies, we inspected the remote-controlled model aircraft. There were plenty to see. Most were incredibly detailed. Right down to their little pilots. In the air, it was only the noise that distinguished them from the real thing. Tom Pazura. Tom Pazura, before you fire that engine, if you will come up and get your name tag, we have a for you. By early afternoon, the show officials, this one in costume, had convinced the FAA to let the big birds fly. So the pilots and the planes made their way to the tarmac. I should mention that none of the planes at the show were original World War I machines. They were all replicas. Nearly all of them were seven-eighths or three-quarter scale, which helps to explain the difficulty this pilot was having sliding into the cockpit. Engines were started and the first group queued up. Now I have even more good news. The only thing that we are waiting on is for the fire department to come out and get in position. Just a few minutes later, they were flying. Sure enough, we've got a plane in the air. I really hope he was just showing off here. The public address announcer provided a lot of great historical information. And really the only significant advantage enjoyed by the German Eindecker over the Newport series of aircraft was armament. The Eindecker had a machine gun that was synchronized to fire full it's still hard to believe this happens just a couple minutes from our house. I can't wait for the 2011 rendezvous.